Welcome back, everyone here to Brax Talks today. We got a very special video for you guys. We're going to be talking about former Yankees closure, but he's still on the team, a role as Chapman, and where our trust level and our concerns rely with him into the playoffs and talk about what role he's going to have the bullpen, the playoffs, just everything going forward, basically, with the role of Chapman. So, Christian, tell us about uh, a role as Chapman. What's he doing this year? Um, well, he's not doing great this year, but it helps to get sort of a background on Rollis Chapman. He's like one of the best closers of all time. Although as he's getting older, he's 34 years old right now. He started to slow down. Um, it also doesn't help that a big thing about Rollis Chapman was always his fastball. Set the record for the fastest pitch ever at like 105 miles an hour. And it's kind of just become like normal among the league. So that makes him less effective. But he still has the stuff. Struggled a lot early on this season, although past um, past few appearances has gotten better. Um, it's probably going up later in the week, so if he blows a game, then I take that all back. But he's shown signs that it's there. It's just kind of the history that it bothers me. 2016 gives up the game-tying home run to Rajay Davis while he was still on the Cubs. Um, Cubs went on to win the World Series, so no one talked about it. Although if the Indians win, I mean, that, that loss is on Chapman. 2019 gives up the walk-off home run to Altuve. 2020, Mike Brasso um, gives up the game-winning home run in the eighth. And then 2021, no bad playoff moments because we only played one playoff game, but a handful of meltdowns in the regular season. And it's just concerning as a closer. So I think the question is what his role is going to be and if we really want him pitching in a big spot. Well, you know, here's the thing with the role of Shatman. They really can't move him. He's, he's on the team, highest paid reliever in the league. Uh, it, it would be really hard to deal him, especially since he's a free agent after this year and he's not putting up that great of numbers. So, I mean, he's on the team. This is the guy we have to roll with him. Been forced out of the closing spot, you know, due to Clay Holmes having a great season and Chapman kind of struggling. Went on the IL for a period. Um, went down to AAA with Matt Blake. They helped him fix his command a little bit, get some more of Velo on the fastball. And since he's come back, you've seen uh, a little, little bit of um, – little bit of velo added on his fastball there not what it once was obviously but still good to see um and you know the thing is the chapman if he doesn't have his fastball or he can't um command his fastball he's he's just he can't be on the mound because then what happens is he tries throwing the slider and he throws it repetitively and then you know christian obviously you know what happens when you throw a ton of sliders you're going to hang one eventually, and, you know, it's just – you guys know. So the thing with Chapman is my stance on it. He's on the team. He's not going to be the closer in the playoffs unless he just goes unbelievably nuts down here, down the stretch. But for me, Chapman's role in the postseason, whether he gets big-time innings or not, is going to be how he pitches here down the stretch. Um, it's very important these next two months of the season, we see what Chapman can do. You know, um, his last few outings have been good. Um, you know, going this is going up later in the week, so we'll see. But it's going to come down to how he pitches down the stretch. If he pitches really well, then I could see definitely see Chapman getting, you know, seventh, eighth inning, maybe sixth inning in those high leverage situations. And, you know, I think we would feel confident um, with him coming in there as long as he can – he can uh, pitch well. Um, if he struggles and he's not that great, then I feel like he's kind of going to be forced into like a role where, you know, if the Yankees are down three runs, he'll come in the game or, you know, something like that to, you know, try to uh, save some relievers arms in, in the postseason. I don't, I wouldn't see him getting a, a you know, a big leverage spot, but the bottom line is it's going to come down to how a role is Chapman pitches down stretch it's definitely going to be interesting to see um 
And it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the Yankees play all of this um, with the role as Chapman. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't necessarily hold the playoffs stuff against him. I mean, it happens with the best. Mariano Rivera in 2001, you wouldn't hold that against Mariano Rivera. In 2002, yeah. then you wouldn't say, I don't want Mariano Rivera pitching in a big spot. But it's just really the inconsistency from Chapman um, last year and even this year we've seen it. We don't even know if he's going to throw strikes. Um, so we hope he can get it, um, get back to his game. And if he does, I don't mind it. I mean, he is a really good pitcher when he's on, not one of the best. Yeah, I mean, the thing with Mariano Rivera, though, it's a little different in a sense. Mariano Rivera was awesome in the postseason. I mean, that was kind of his his one um, blip on the radar, I guess. But he was, like, dominant in the postseason. So Big was Chapman. Reason. So was Chapman, other than those – but Mariano Rivera only blew that game one time. He did have the one in 1997 to Cleveland, but Chapman's kind of had three major meltdowns that have cost the team uh, a game in the playoffs besides the Cubs one where they came back. Came back, yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's similar. I think it's a little different in a sense. But, you know, Trevor Hoffman uh, sec- was probably the second-best closer relief pitcher in all of baseball, was absolutely horrible in the playoffs absolutely horrible one of the best closing pitchers of all time trevor hoffman he still got in the hall of fame the biggest nun in his career is he was really bad in the postseason so you know you got to keep that stuff in mind i wouldn't want you know chapman coming in you know the ninth i guess you know with runners on base i that would really scare me but i think you know they ought to use him correctly find his spots you know you got two lefties down in the bottom of the order in the seventh inning, bring in Chapman. But bottom line, like I said before, it's going to come down um, to how Rolls Chapman pitches down stretch.